everyone. Welcome to what we hope is an informative video about caring for your silver. Many people are intimidated when it comes to polishing and cleaning their silver. They view it as an onerous job that they just want to put off as long as possible. And as with anything, the longer you put it off, the more difficult it becomes. Hopefully, when we have presented a series of these videos, you will find not only that your silver cleans much more easily than you thought, but the satisfaction you get from cleaning your silver will more than make up for any inconvenience and time spent. First and foremost in most people's minds is how do you go from something that looks like this to something that you want to look like this. First consideration is protecting your hands when you're cleaning the silver. We recommend gloves that can be obtained. We buy ours at Costco. They're nitrile. They're not latex. They have no powder in them. And then we use these polishing gloves that we'll talk more about later and put on over the gloves. So you can polish a piece of silver that isn't really tarnished just using the gloves and rubbing the surface of the silver. If the silver is heavily tarnished, you'll need to use additional polish. It can also be used with the gloves. Different types of silver require different techniques. If you're cleaning repose silver, a lot of you will have noticed that the paste silver polish that you use leaves a residue that dries and leaves an unsightly finish on the silver. This can be prevented by using a horsehair cleaning brush with your silver polish and brushing the silver surface to clean it without damaging it so that you'll actually see the silver transform right before your eyes. You'll be very pleased with the results. Also, if you have intricate silver filigree work, the horsehair is preferable to a toothbrush. Both of them work equally well on the silver, but the problem with the toothbrush bristles is they're stronger than the silver, and if you snag a bristle in the detail work on the silver, you're liable to break the silver, whereas the horsehair won't do that. The horsehair will give. It's also softer and it doesn't leave the surface scratches that the toothbrush might leave. Either one will work, but we recommend the horsehair brush. The most important thing on cleaning your silver is People complain about the length of time their, their, the shine lasts. The best way to keep the shine on the longest possible time is not to wash the silver after you clean it. Most silver polish has a tarnish preventative ingredient in it that leaves a very slight residue on the silver that's, that prevents tarnish. For a detailed report on the particular products that we use, please visit us on our website at www.silversterling.com. For other questions or comments you would like to leave, you may do so under this video on YouTube. We will respond to any questions you may have as promptly as we possibly can and give you a detailed response which will hopefully answer your questions and help you in your quest to keep your silver looking as nice as you would want it to look. Please be sure to visit us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Barry Cove. 